guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm here with my January book haul and one of my 2018 reading goals was to buy 30 books in 2018 and um, in the past month I already bought eight so I don't know how the rest of the year is gonna go but I'm putting myself on a buying ban until the beginning of April so that I can minimize my buying habit. We'll, uh, we'll see how that will go. Today I have six books here with me. I also have two books, but those are in my dorm, so I'm not too sure if I will include those in this book haul or maybe in the one for February. But today I'm gonna talk about six of the eight books that I bought in January. Let's start with book number one that I have here on the pile, and that is A By Your Side by Casey West. I believe that this book came out in the summer of 2017, so it came out very recently, and this is about a boy and a girl who get locked up uh, in a library on accident and they start sharing their lives with each other and they start falling in love. That's all I know. I've only read one other Casey West book and that is On the Fence, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, I don't have it here with me. I lend On the Fence to Michelle, who is also a really awesome booktuber. You should totally check out her channel. She makes so many great videos, but I also read that book. I really loved it. It was super fluffy, not like the most amazing book that I read, but it was just very cute. And I can't wait to read more Casey West because she puts out so many books. I believe she came out with a book in December of 2017. In May she's gonna come out with another book and then in the summer she's also gonna come out with a book. Like that woman, she writes so quickly. Next up I have The Sacrifice Box by Martin Stewart and this came out on the 11th of January 2018 and it was described to be like the perfect book for fans of Stranger Things. Well I'm not gonna go into the book with that exact thought because this has a really kind of low rating on Goodreads. It has like a three and a half out of five stars and usually I would never pick up a book that has like an average rating of three and a half stars because that's not that high but I want to go into this book with an open mind and uh, I really really hope that I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna read you guys the back and by the way these guys all have great unique names. So Sep, Arkel, Mac, Lamp, and Hedley. Five friends thrown together one summer. When they discover an ancient stone box in the forest, they each make a sacrifice. Something special committed to the box forever. And they make a pact. Four years later, a series of strange and terrifying events take place. Someone broke the rules, and now everyone has to pay. But how much are they willing to sacrifice? And this story also takes place around 1982, 1986. So I can definitely like see why they are sort of comparing it to Stranger Things. I'm not going to go into this book with like, oh, it's gonna be Stranger Things, but different, but um, it will definitely be very mysterious and 80s, and I am all up for that. I'm gonna go into this book with an open mind. Ah, oh, this book is so cute. Um, This is The Explorer by Catherine Rundle, the author of Rooftoppers, and this is a little bit different because I I am pretty damn sure that this is a middle grade book, so like it's targeted towards children from 12 to 15 years, but this just sounded so cute and it had amazing ratings on Goodreads. So Fred has always dreamed of becoming an explorer, of reading his name among the lists of great adventurers. But when his tiny plane crashes in the Amazon jungle, his dreams suddenly become all too real. He and the three other children are stranded without hope of rescue and their chance of getting home feels terrifyingly small. Uh, I thought that this was a really big book, like 500 or 600 pages, but because it's middle grade, like the font is huge. Plus you also have like pages where they have illustrations in it, which I think is really quite cool. And I can't wait to read this because I feel like this would be perfect for me as like a fun, adventurous, quick read and that is what I totally need right now because finals are coming in two weeks and I'm dying with the amount of stuff that I need to learn. But I'm gonna try and stay positive. <laughs> Next up I have a third book in a trilogy and the final one and I'm really happy that I finally have it and that is Always and Forever Laura Jean by Jenny Han. I reread To All the Boys I Loved Before last year, absolutely adored it again and I really want to reread P.S. I Still Love You which I have right here because I really wanted to buy this book when it came out because I want to know what is happening in uh, Lara Jean's life with her family with like 
I don't want to spoil you, but like, I don't know, I just want to, I just want to find out what happens after the second book because it was supposed to be a duology at first. I didn't really like the ending for a duology, so I was feeling a little bit like, mm, I don't know if this will stay a duology. And it didn't. This trilogy is lighthearted, but also with a little bit more depth to it. You have a great family with awesome dynamics. This book was first 17 euros, but I finally bought it because it was 11 right now. And it's quite tiny. It's like just over 300 pages. And I don't want to pay 17 euros for a book that I will read so quickly. Next up, a very interesting book, and that is Iron Cast by Destiny Soraya. Soraya, I think is how you pronounce this. This is, I believe, a little bit more of like an historical fantasy book. In 1990, Ada Navera, the interpreted daughter of immigrants, and Corin Wells, a spunky devil maker heiress, make an unlikely pair. But at the Cast Iron Nightclub in Boston, anything and everything is possible. At night, on stage together, the two best friends whose afflicted blood gives them the ability to create illusions through art, weave magic under the employ of Johnny Dervish, the club's owner, and a notorious gangster. By day, Ada and Corin use these same skills to con the city's elite in an attempt to keep the club afloat. When a job goes awry, awry, I don't, I never know how to say this word, and Ada is in prison, she realizes they're on the prince, pr precip, pr pr precipice, my English sometimes, of danger. Only Corin, her partner in crime, can break her out of Havers Haversham Asylum, but once Ada is out, they face betrayal at every turn. Rife with magic and mobsters, this captivating debut novel follows the lives of two fiery women and the friendship that binds them. And this sounds so good, it's not that well known, and it has gotten really good reviews on Goodreads, and I think it looks just so incredibly pretty. I can't wait to read it, I mean it sounds just great. Plus the book under the dust jacket has a quote on it that says, we are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams. I just haven't heard anyone talk about this book, so I can't wait to pick it up and tell you guys if it's any good. And then finally, my last book is The Martian by Andy Weir. And look at this gorgeous hardcover copy of it. I've always wanted to have this book in hardcover because I think the cover looks so good. I mainly bought this book because I finally read Ready Player One, which I think is like, a young adult, new adult, sci-fi-ish thing, and Andy Weir loves Ready Player One, and Ernest Klein, the author of Ready Player One, also like quoted, I don't know how you say that, um, this book, that it was like really good, and I know that there is supposed to be a ton of humor and scientific details in this about a guy who strands alone on Mars and is trying to survive there. I really want to see the movie with Matt Damon, but I first want to read the book because I've heard it's so good. This hardcover book usually costs around 20 euros or more, but I found it for 12, so this was I think the absolute right time to buy it. So those were the six books that I bought in January. Plus I also have a little bit more, but we will see in what kind of book haul I will throw that. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, you can enter my three years on booktube giveaway. I will leave a link to it somewhere here on the screen. You guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. I have Goodreads, Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address, and uh, links to that will be in the description bar down below. Again, and thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!